hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing okay thank you for being here um i'm going to be doing the darker fabric this time as someone's asked if it would run with light lighter jasmineites let's see if it does <laughs> So I can't find my fabric pencil, so just a normal crayon, crayon um, has actually done this really well. So I've placed in the actual fabric into the mould and I've just gone round the edge with the pencil to, to line it. Um, warning to everybody, I couldn't find my smaller scissors, I couldn't bother to look for them, so I tried these. Don't be lazy do what I had to do in the end and go and find a smaller pair of scissors because <laughs> it was a nightmare trying to cut this really thin fabric with those massive things so I found my little scissors um been able to cut then around the edge however this material is so thin that it did struggle and I didn't cut it perfectly so I did miss it I was going to do it again but I thought no I'm just going to go with it now I am using fabric dye in the jasmine this is the first time I've actually tried this um, so I'm using just normal Dresden eye um, and then I've used that fabric dye um, in it to add the colour. I, I, don't, I just thought fabric, let's give it a go and see if it would make the colour and how will it cure. It worked perfectly. Um, it was the colour I wanted. Um, it was amazing. Um, I was very pleased with it. And when pouring onto fabric, always pour into the centre first and then around the edges because it kind of like weights that down um what you don't want to do is move that fabric at all and cause any creases i know on my lighter fabric one that i did um which oh my god guys it's nearly a thousand views so thank you if you've watched it i am so pleased it's probably one of my best performing videos let's see if we can do the same with this one um with the dark fabric but i just go around the edge with this and i just tap it slightly i don't want to shimmy to try and move any air bubbles as I do not want that fabric to move especially with it being a really thin fabric so I do leave it um, for about 30 minutes for it to cure because I weren't sure how it would go with the um, fabric uh, dye in it but it did cure just as quickly as it did without that dye um, it to be fair it was amazing um it didn't make any difference in the curing time or the way it felt or anything um, so yeah it was amazing and guess what the dark color does not run i am going to try this with a denim i think because that is definitely one that probably would i think um but we'll see um so you can see that there is a bit of an edging around the edge where i didn't cut it perfection perfect perfectly <laughs> i don't know what i was trying to say there <laughs> so what i'll do is i'm going to leave this now 24 hours to dry as this is got a cure um that that fabric is still damp and i'm gonna seal it this time with mod podge um instead of using the resin like i did with the lighter one now i did the resin because it was a lighter fabric and just any dirt will probably show up but with the darker fabric i know that i'm going to be able to get away with it so that's why i thought i'd try the mod podge on the fabric and i have actually done it before so i'm going to go around with a posco black acrylic pen around the edge to try and get rid of those edges um but it was just the cutting of the material that i did not get right but like claire says um if everyone knows claire it's made with love and not perfection um but i do love this pattern the fabric literally didn't crease it was perfect so this is me just going around the edge then of this um tray it's just making sure that all of the imperfections are kind of a little bit more less subtle. Um, I noticed actually that I was I kept moving this bit off camera. I do apologise. Um, and this pen at the moment, I've had a bit of a nightmare with it. I don't know if anyone else has had these nightmares. But it's just I have to shake it and then press it and then loads come out. Um, so I'm going to need to possibly get a new pen because it dries up really quickly but then it literally, if I press it, it, it leaks loads um, so I've got to be really, really careful. Um, anyone else recommend a decent type of brand or pen? Just drop it in the comments. I'm definitely worth um, trying something. Um, yeah, but this one was a bit of a nightmare. It started on my school one. Um, 
so I don't think I'll be using this one again on any future projects um, but it has it has been a bit of a challenge this pen <laughs> but no it did what I wanted it to do it it sealed that imperfection and it literally give it that finishing touch um, and again thank you for still being here if you are here please remember if you're not subscribed please press sub subscribe and give us a thumbs up and you are helping my reach so thank you so much and also give me your thoughts now with regards to the fabric dye that I used I did notice one thing so that this is it finished um, and that's the pen that I've used However, you can see that the dye has transferred over to my mould, so I'm going to have to give that a good wash. And I think that might be because I've used the fabric dye, but this is amazing. So this is me leaving it now, waiting short, and then adding the Mod Podge. So this is the following day. Um, I've left it 24 hours. Um, I'm trying to work out which way is the best to apply the Mod Podge. So I've got the sponge and I've also got a small brush. Um, I don't tend to use big brushes as much because I end up with really, really big brush lines. Um, but this sponge didn't work very well. I think it was because it it, it just wasn't cleaned fully. I need a new, new brush, uh, a new sponge to be able to do this. But this worked really well. Um, everyone like was thinking, oh my God, I was worried at one point that I would be able to see the Mod Podge once it's dried because I forgot how clear it dries. It dries super clear and it doesn't make any difference to what the product looked like. Um, there was a different feel to it. Um, it was a bit of a rough feel like sandpaper once it dried. But I did do two coats of the Mod Podge and it's perfectly done. Um, what I wanted it to do so it does work really well um, and I think it does with fabric with Mod Podge but you can see that there is like a rough feel to this a rough look you can see some of the streaks but I absolutely love this tray and the dye of the fabric does not run it's amazing but thank you for watching and I'll see you next week <music>